What's up, guys? Hefe coming to you. Captain Awesome's Attic. We're looking at the vent where all the magic is going to start. Not the PVC right there, guys. I haven't figured out what that is yet, but that uh, long piece of metal uh, tin pipe right there uh, goes to uh, a vent fan inside my laundry room. That's where... Um, that's where I'm going to start running uh, the line. Um, of course, I'm going to hook it up to the back of the washer. And then it's going to come up into my attic through right there. And then it's going to go all the way over here. Um, let me pause this for a second. Uh, and I'll walk over there and I'll show y'all. Because uh, I'm not trying to fall through my, my uh, ceiling right now. So... Just one second, guys. All right, we're back. So, let me walk over here a little bit. Maybe I can show y'all. And don't worry, guys. If I fall, it will be posted because that would be funny as hell. So, here we go. This is where the air condition slash heat duct goes into my fish room right there. And that's where this pipe, well, I'm sorry, not pipe, but this line is going to enter my fish room. Then it's going to go into the uh, uh, little GE uh, wa tap water filters that I have that I'm going to jam full of uh, carbon to get the chlorine out. And I want to, you know, make sure you all understand. The reason I'm doing a chlorine filter with the carbon is because the area in Texas that I'm in, the chlorine is, I mean, if you use one of those jungle test kits, uh, the chlorine is, I believe, the one just under the highest. So, I'm not going to run the chance. Uh, plus, I already had those little uh, GE water filters laying around anyway. So, you know, I figured it'd be cool to use them. But, uh, yeah, so that's where it's going to enter at. And let me show you the tubing I'm going to be using. Go back over here. If any of y'all getting a house built, let me tell you, this spray-in insulation, awesome. But uh, anyways, let's see, where did I put that tubing at? All the Christmas decorations. Oh, here it is. This is the tubing right here. It's the, the half-inch tubing uh, and that's the one that's going to start over there well you I guess you can't really see it with all that shit there but uh, it's going to start over there where I uh, originally showed y'all run all the way across go down into my fish room hook into those filters and then it's going to be reduced down to that uh, quarter inch uh, regular drip line so um you know, I'll go back down into my fish room and uh, do a little more explaining, uh, but here we go. I don't know why I'm showing you all my air conditioner unit. Uh, all, right. all right, guys, we're back in the fish room. Uh, there's that vent I was telling you all about. It's uh, 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 right, up, right above uh, Big Rig's cage there. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. I have to keep my eye on this Jaguar over here so she doesn't bite my ass, but... Uh, Right over there, you can, uh, right out the back right there, not actually through the vent, but on the back, uh, I'm going to get like a little rubber washer so I can seal it so I don't lose any, uh, you know, make my electricity bill go up, you know, uh, and it's going to run down and, <clears throat> oh girl, man, I can't even be close to this tank, look at her, just mean. Ooh, damn. All right, but anyways, I don't want to mess. Let me actually close that lid. She's good at jumping out. Uh, but anyways, guys, um, and when it comes out, um, it's going to run into this side right here, which is a half-inch fitting uh, that fits that pipe that I showed y'all up in the attic. It just screws in there, and that's what holds the bracket on. So I'll be bolting that 
about six inches from the ceiling and six inches to the right of that vent, okay? Um, and then, like I said, the, the tubing will come in here, uh, flow through my carbon uh, that I won't have to change probably, but, you know, maybe every six to eight months. Uh, and then it's going to come out of this side, and this brings me to my next point, how I made this, okay? Let me tell y'all a story. I was at Home Depot, and I asked one of the gentlemen there uh, to help me uh, make a fitting that would go from half inch to my quarter inch drip line, okay? He said, well, uh, you know, the drip irrigation pieces, we don't have anything to do that. And I was like, well, it doesn't have to be those pieces. He stopped me in the middle of that sentence and said, well, actually, it does have to be those pieces, uh, you know, when you buy something, you have to buy the right pieces. And I was like, so you're saying there's nothing here to make that work? And he was like, no, sir. I mean, I could look around, but I'm telling you, there's nothing in drip irrigation to, to you know, take a half inch to a quarter inch um, unless you want to, you know, poke a hole in it and then run an adapter to your quarter inch. And I was like, well, then it'd leak. And he was like, well, that doesn't matter. And I was like, well, dude, it actually does because it's not going to be in the yard. It's going to be in my fish room oh, well, you really shouldn't use that. You know, that's really for irrigation. So I was like, you know what, man? This is exactly what I told him. I was like, you know what? Never mind. Thanks for your help. I'll find it myself. So if they're not going to help you guys, don't get discouraged, okay? I found this piece here, and what I saw was a quarter-inch adapter on something that I could probably find a half inch adapter to go into the side and make it work and plug the other end which I did you can see okay this gentleman said that it would not work well here it is it works all I did was is I went well first I found a half inch adapter that would screw into this part which wasn't hard because it's the same exact ones as these um, and I screwed it in just to just to test fit it and of course all this will have Teflon tape on it then I went over to the PVC section because I know they have fittings where I could plug the end of it, okay? So I got this, and I got this plug right here. And again, this will all be Teflon, Teflon tape, so it'll make a watertight seal. I screwed it on the end. Then I found the plug to go with it, screwed that in, and look. It'll be a half-inch line running right here to connect it. And then look, I have the quarter-inch line right there that'll go to my tanks boom so if someone tells you that you know especially someone that works there if they're just too busy bumping bumping their gums to one of their other co-workers about some baseball game guys I'm telling you you can do anything with DIY anything okay as long as you get the right pieces and they fit together correctly you can do anything okay um, you know he said it can't be done now, of course, he was talking about with the drip irrigation pieces. And, of course, that can't be done because they don't have anything. At least they didn't have anything at Home Depot that did it. Um, but I made it work. This is a DIY adapter to go from half-inch tubing to quarter-inch tubing, and boom, it works. Okay? Now, as far as it uh, leaking out of this right here, I don't know yet because I haven't tested it. But, you know, we'll find out. And if it does... I'll load this bastard up with silicone and it won't ever leak again. So there, DIY done. And then from there, um, I thought about either, you know, running the line and teeing it off to where I could take it to all my tanks. Um, look at Big Rig, guys. He is just looking super, super fat. God almighty. Good night, Irene. Look at that fish. Woo-wee! If y'all want a dovi that looks like this, y'all go talk to Skip. Fishlaw1 is his YouTube channel. Real hard cichlids aquatic kennels, baby. Right there. That is a dovi. Boom. But anyways, sorry guys. I get off on a tangent with Big Rig sometimes. He's, uh, he's just a beast. But uh, where was I? Oh, I might tee it off and, you know, run it both ways where it'll go to the right and the left with a T, and then I'll tee it off and make it go to the rest of the tanks and then tee it off and then blah, 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 both sides, whatever. Or what I'm going to do is run a single line from that piece into this adapter that has six to eight individual quarter-inch uh, 
hose barbs where you can plug it up. And what I thought about was, is running that to the center right there by my light and then having the line run off to each tank. And you know, I have those, uh, these little guys right here. Uh, well, I had, here we go. I have these little guys right here uh, to make it, you know, really streamlined and look really professional. Uh, so, you know, no, no, none of the tubing will actually be hanging down and look, uh, you know, shoddy. Uh, so I think I might do that. If you, any of y'all have ever used this stuff, uh, let me know about those adapters that have 6 to 8 on them. Um, I'd really like to know if those leak. I can't find a review on them for the life of me. Um, but, man. Anyways, um, this video is going to be about 10 minutes, guys. So uh, I'm going to cut it short. I keep keeping y'all for a long time. I hope y'all watched it to the end. Um, as always, rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you so much for commenting, good or bad. Thank you for liking and disliking my videos, whichever whichever preference you have. It uh, doesn't matter. It means that people are watching my videos, whether you like them or not. So, uh, as always, guys, this is what I'm doing. This is what I've done. Uh, again, rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all are thinking. Let me know if y'all want to see anything. And... Um, I'll be doing another video today. Uh, I finally, uh, you know, solidified that video I want to do every Friday. So that'll be coming up. Um, and y'all are going to enjoy that. So until next time, guys, stay true to the hobby. Peace.